hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can change the ownership of any power automate or a flow to a service principal application user account and we will also learn what is service principal application user how you can create it in your power administration environment and what are different benefits it gives us to like whenever uh, we change it from the actual user to the service principal user account so first of all, what is service principal application user? So this uh, service principal is a non-human security identity account. So whenever we create any app into AD portal, so it can be used as a service application principal while giving the permissions into the Power Platform administration. So in a while, we'll see it, how it, it can be done. And also like what benefit it gives. So consider an example where a person or a uh, owner of the flow leaves the organization. So either like that ownership has to be transferred to the existing user which has a valid uh, license account into the power domain but usage of this service principal application user allow us to provide the ownership to this service application account and uh, we need not to be worried about like if a person leaves uh, in future the again the owner leaves in the future then uh, we have to change the ownership again but uh, just to remember like this uh, service principal application user actually binds with these non-license requirement non-license limits uh, applies to this account so the flow would actually run in the uh, settings of the configuration we do at the power automate level so just remember that so now we can start creating one new service principal application user account into our power platform administration then we'll change the ownership of uh, one of the flow which is there in our environment so that entire step by step process will take care so I'm just changing, I'm just going to my default environment. And over here, I'll just open the Power Platform Administration. I'll just go to the Admin Center. And I'll go to Environments. So I'll click on my default environment. So these service application users gets can, can be created at environments level and when you go to the settings under user and permission click on application users so over here you can see like there are a bunch of application users which are already there so these are get provision like whenever uh, you install some packages so that get provision altogether by its own but over here we are going to create a new app user so by this app when you click on this add an app so it will give you all the apps which are there in your azure ad portal so these are the apps which you have either like created by by its own or you have created so these couple of apps which i have created by myself so i can use this uh, apps to create this app user and how you can create apps so you have to go to the azure portal to create it so you so I have logged into the azure portal.com and you can go to the azure active directory where you get the area where you can register your app so you have to directly go to the app registration and over here you can create a new app so I have uh, already done a couple of uh, previous videos how you can create an app into azure and assign the permission so I'll just drop the link of that so you, you that you can create app by your own into the azure portal so over here if you see like I have this uh, office graph and this uh, two apps which was created for different usage but I still can use them and uh, you can very well create a new one and can use that as well. So I'm just going back to my power administration and I'll just choose my this graph. The app name uh, is MS graph I believe. Yes MS graph app so I'll just choose this one. and you have to choose the business unit so by default like uh, you can bind that to your organization business unit and the security rules if you because this uh, service app accounts are like non-interactive accounts so you can give them a basic user account so where like they can just do the basic uh, user interaction operation and create it so this account gets created this app user gets created into my this environment and now this app user can be used to replace the owner of any power automate into my actual flows so we can see like we have this over here if you wish to edit this you can just select it and go to details 
and if you need to sync up this if you are changing some name and in, uh, into the azure ad portal then you have to just click on refresh so that the syncing can happen and over here if you wish to assign or edit any security rules permission you can do that so that's it for this service account we are good and we can actually directly deactivate as well if you we don't wish to use it now just going back to my power automate so if i click on my flows over here i'll just pick any of the flows so i want to showcase you like for any of the existing power automate you cannot directly change the owner so if i just try to change the owner of to this my service application account so i would not able to do so if i click on this edit and if i go over there you will see there is a non solution there is a non solution flow so owners cannot be changed so just to remember you have to create the flow into one of the solution or add your flow to to the solution so that you can change the ownership of the flow so i'm just going to any one of my existing solution so i'll just pick this test solution let's say and we'll try to add the existing power automate over here or we can create a new power automate as well so let's say from the existing one i'll just try to pick any of the let's say any of the flow so i'll just click on this so that gave me an option to like inside dataverse which is actually using the dataverse or the power automate which are outside of dataverse if i just go back to power automate and click on this not new to the existing one power automate cloud flow i have this outside dataverse so these are just basic ones so i'll just click on the latest one so that i can show you so i'll just say add so now i have added my power automate to the solution so i should be allowed to update the owner of this power automate so this is the name when item is created i'll just go back to my or i can just add it from here itself and if i just go back to the flow details and edit these details i got an option to change or remove this owner which is there and i can start typing my own so you can see like my this ms graph app has started appearing over here along with the other users so i can just pick this owner as application user account and just save it and you see like uh, changing the owner you would require to share the connectors with this account as well so that your flows can be uh, smoothly running after changing the ownership as well so once i save it you still see like plan is owner and per flow so based on your requirement you can keep it and when i go back to my this uh, solution you would see like uh, this ownership has been changed to this person so now we are good and these flows can be still running with this power service application user account instead of the actual owner account so this is how you can change it and you can very well work with it and the advantage we get like once it's set the application user has been set as the owner of this application then you need not to worry about the owner actual owner leaving the organization or maybe like in future you need to change it so that's where the key is so i hope like uh, you like this tip and if you do like please do subscribe to my channel and drop your comments if in case of any questions that's it for today thank you